The mission of Solid Energy is to power people's lives. Imagine a child in a remote village in Africa accessing the internet for the first time. Imagine we protect our homeland and secure our border with a virtual wall. And all this is possible. And the answer is high altitude drones. And these drones fly 60,000 to 90,000 feet at the edge of space. And they're super light. They run on super light solar cells during daytime. And they run on super light batteries at night. And that's where we come in. We at Solid Energy develop a super light, long lasting battery. We achieve this by using an ultra thin, ultra light anode material and a very safe electrolyte. And this technology is very scalable. You can manufacture this using existing lithium ion infrastructure. Imagine taking this technology from space to everyday lives, your phone, your cars. Solid Energy Systems is really revolutionizing energy storage by using a solid lithium anode, which enables us to reduce the size by half and increase our energy by a factor of two. We can now enable new technologies that people had not imagined using batteries for. So really enabling new application spaces. Because we're using a solid lithium anode, that is an inherently safe technology. Lithium itself in the form that we're using it is much less prone to fire or conflagration than the typical lithium ion battery which is surrounded by flammable electrolytes, lots of carbon. We have some flexibility in our facility. So we are available to make the, the very tiny cell, like 100 milliamps hour, very small cell, up to 20 amps hour capacity large cell. So we have some kind of the flexibility to cover a lot of the, the diverse application. The current lithium ion battery that we have is like a 30 year old technology. So basically what we're developing here is a lithium metal battery with almost twice the energy density of a current lithium ion battery. So we cannot just enable it using our old technology, our old electrolyte. We need to come up with a new electrolyte, which I think is a combination of both the solid and the liquid electrolyte. I mean, people have demonstrated batteries with either a liquid electrolyte or a solid electrolyte in a different systems, but then to combine them in a single system, that's a challenge. So our Catalyte team has put in a lot of time and effort in understanding and tuning the interface between the electrolyte and both anode and cathode in our cell. Many times on those kind of activities get accompanied by kind of developing new novel lithium salt and developing the electrolyte system that allows high columbic efficiency of lithium plating and stripping as well as allowing high charging voltage. Um, of 4.25 volts, 4.3 volts or above. As a team, we devised an electrochemical testing platform to shorten the cycle of learning as much as possible. So from designing lithium salt, synthesizing, followed by blending and testing, all that activity happens in this laboratory. It's a very exciting time as we are getting ready for the Gen 1 commercialization. I'm from the lithium ion, the battery field. I have worked for 15 years. Some guys from the primary rich metal battery, some guys from the lead exit battery, and some guys has the just graduated from the college. We can integrate different view and some pressure eye to make a better product and better process. No new manufacturing processes are really going to be required to do this. The reason I think we're going to succeed and the reason other people have not succeeded is the fact that we're building on the learning and all of the mistakes that they've made. We're trying to make sure that we steer clear of those mistakes. And I think the other thing too is we have a very commercial approach now. From the inception of the company up until about six months ago, the technology was still in development. Now is the time to commercialize it. And so management and the, um, the board of directors have now decided it's important to bring people who, are, who have commercialized this type of technology before and apply their smarts now to this. The science is great. The technology is important, but you've got to find that end user right away. And that's what we have done a really good job doing is we have found that end user. We found the application space where we can put this technology right away. We've learned a lot of lessons from a lot of the failures in the battery industry. A lot of the battery companies, they took a lot of money and a lot of time to build the infrastructure just to demonstrate a new technology. When we started, we didn't have to do that. We had the opportunity to work with another incubator 
A123 in Massachusetts, and that really saved us a lot of learning curve in terms of time and resource. And that's what allowed us to be much faster than the other companies. Solid Energy Systems was the first in the world to demonstrate this new technology, same capacity, but half the size and half the weight.